Well, I'm going to move on to uh, closing the day. I'm going to talk for a few minutes, do some uh, little business stuff first, and then uh, Chris will come up and talk to you guys, and then Patrick will close. Uh, the business is um, everybody here, most everybody here, uh, is invited out to our ship party next. We're going out on the Bay Dinner Cruise. You should have found a map for that at Pier 40, the opposite direction as last night. Ship leaves sharply at 6.30, boards at 6.15. So pretty shortly after we leave this room, you should be putting on your stuff and heading that direction. It takes about a half hour to walk there, 15 minutes by cap. And uh, we'll have a nice little party. We're going to send you a survey uh, post-conference, ask you what you thought about it. Uh, one thing that's been brought up, I guess people are asking, for, well, can I have so-and-so's email address? We'll make that an option on the survey if you want your email address public, and then we can send it back out uh, to everybody so you can contact one another. Um, a year and a half ago, a little more than that, I was brought into the Institute as the communication director. And um, a few months or nine months after that, I was fortunate enough to uh, take over the helm as the leader of it as Patry went on to FCD with James Hogan. And what I saw, you know, from you know, where we were at and where we were going, and when I went around the country starting to meet different people and, um, and learn more about seasteading and the oceans, because I don't know anything about the oceans. I'm not a marine biologist. I'm not a maritime expert. I don't sail. Uh, I, I don't, it was like, wow, I'm a seasteader, but I don't do this. <laughs> but I'm good at being a director of an institute, and I'm good at getting experts around me. And, and hearing their opinions and encouraging them and motivating them. And I found that I keep meeting, keep meeting people who don't share the long-term vision of the Institute of a thousand nation blooming on the high seas or libertarianism or freedom, but they shared the same means. They wanted to live on the ocean. They wanted to farm the ocean. They wanted to get energy from the ocean. They wanted to have the opportunities of a uh, running a business that wasn't hampered by regulation of a neighboring state. So what I tried to do when I curated this program, along with the help of my colleagues, is, is bring together this diverse group. And those of you who were at the conference in 2009, which I wasn't, uh, probably see a very different conference this year from years past. Um, I hope that this has been engaging for you, that uh, you found it exciting, that you've met people you wouldn't have met otherwise, that uh, you're making friends with people from different disciplines, that you'll leave here and you'll keep those friendships and those networks and get, get involved in something that advances seasteading in your own way. Um, perhaps our first seasteads are just four miles out on an algae farm. But that's the first step because we're on a multi-decade vision. And it's going to be 20, 30 years before there's tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people living on floating cities. But I think that floating cities are inevitable, and I think that we're the pioneers. And I think that together we're going to make this world a better place, one measured step by one measured step, through trial, error, and success. And it excites me to be a part of it, and I thank you all for being here for that. Thank you. Um. So I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I want to, you know, I want to let your minds mainly simmer on all these great ideas that you've, that you've heard here today. I'm just going to talk very briefly about sort of the, the vision and the actuality, because I think it's the, it's the combination of those two things that is really important for seasteading. Um, I think Occupy Wall Street is actually an interesting example um, of the vision that we've had in seasteading, and it has been there in previous conferences, and it's sort of the, it's the actual projects that people are working on now the reality, the 275-foot vessel, the you know, blue seed, things like that, that's, that's new and exciting. Um, I, I think that Occupy Wall Street is it's, it's relevant in that you know, it's a sign of a trend that we're a part of, right? And that's people's growing dissatisfaction with what they see as broken systems. And there's a lot of disagreement over what's broken, and there is even more disagreement about how to fix it. Uh, and that's something that that movement doesn't really offer, is an answer that most people will agree with, uh, or even really any particular answer. And, and that's where seasteading is different. We have a vision of how to generate those answers, one that can generate answers that we don't even think of, 
one that can generate different answers for different people and different answers for different problems. And I, that's, that's what got me in, into this idea, got me excited. And we've al always had that, and we still do, and I'm glad that more and more people are hearing it. And, and that's been something that's been a part of many previous talks and, and previous conferences. But what's really new is the actuality, right? We've always been thinking and talking, and, and now we're doing. Uh, I was in a conversation out there today where someone said, wow, the things that I'm seeing in this conference are so exciting. I didn't know that C-setting was making so much progress. And I said, yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, and, and you know, I think that that's, that's, that's super exciting. And, and that's you know, a, a measure of where we are a, a, as a movement, that we're starting to connect more and more people who share similar goals, whatever their long-term vision, is we're finding the people who are doing the things in the near term that you know, move us in the right direction and that move them in the right direction. And so it's a really fascinating, exciting time to be part of this movement. And you know, I think it'll be interesting to see where it goes. When vision collides with reality, you know, both change. And I'm sure that in our case, both will change. And I'm super excited for reality to change. And I'm really intrigued to see how the vision will change. So thank you all for coming. Hope to see most of you at the dinner cruise.